Nigeria first before any other thing. Yes, we belong to a political party, but if we don't have a country, where will be the democracy? You can only have a peaceful country where democracy can strive. And at this moment, we need President Obasanjo to come in with solutions. You are aware the insecurity, the economy, the banditry, the kidnapping, all over the country. And we can continue to watch without reaching out to the elders so that they can come together and advise the present government. That is the duty of a statesman. He has done that successfully in other countries and is honored around the globe and we cannot continue to wait. The unfortunate thing is that if Nigeria is not where it should be, and how it should be, the repercussion will not be only for Nigerians. It will not even be only for Africans. It will be for the whole world. 200 million people and still counting. If we ourselves do not have the sense to believe and to know that we cannot allow that to go to places, then the international community should know that. And if the international community is telling us something that we should do about our country, we should not see them as enemies. We should sit down with them and say, well, look, we have a problem. And wherever we have a problem, let us be honest with our problems and say to them, 